Hey folks, welcome back to the farm. Uh, we're gonna start our, this, we're gonna continue our greenhouse build and we're gonna start the walls today. And before I do that, I'm gonna talk about the roof. Uh, there's a train coming, slowly. So I gotta talk about the roof first because it's all in, intertwined anyway. So I called the uh, place where I'm gonna get the roof panels from. They said I need a minimum of 312. So, uh, looks something like this it's called a 312 and what that means for every foot that it goes out it goes up three inches so you got 12 inches here so you have three inches here like this so our length of our uh, greenhouse is 12 foot so if I want three foot a 312 pitch which means three inches of rise for every foot i have to determine my back wall so my back wall we determined it's going to be six foot three six foot three and the reason i'm making it that high you can make it lower if you wanted to rain catchment system in so i need as much height in the back as i can get so three times 12 is 36 inches so that's what i need from here i need this 36 inches higher so this is nine foot three to here so the roof will look like this so that's how i came up with all this and it's pretty easy to do it's just a hypotenuse of a right angle and i can show you all that but i don't want to bore you so <laughs> what we did we did a uh, mock-up like a template over here behind us. I'm gonna wheel the camera over here and we'll go talk about it in just a second. And uh, to make sure we locked it. It's kind of tall in the front, but I think it's gonna be okay. Uh, but the angle we like and everything. So uh, we'll, let's pull over there and then we'll get a look at our template here. Okay, so behind me here, you can see we went nine foot three, put a line and I went six foot three down here and put a line and I put a a rafter or a in rafter down you can see how it's going to look so uh let's go over this you can see the six foot three this would be the top now you could bring that down a little more if you wanted to but i wanted enough height and i might not still have enough we'll have to wait and see so i can put my contact my catchment system over in here so i'm gonna run a gutter and run the rain rainwater down in it but you could bring this on down another foot really if you wanted to you could lower that down another foot because you're going to, i'm going to have benches here or uh, not benches but tables where i put my uh starts and all that so I mean, theoretically you could do that but we just decided to do this so we're going to get this broke down and uh this is just temporary to look at and we're going to get it broke down and we're going to start building that front wall Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is cut my studs and I've just got four, so I'll have one on each end and one where the, and two where the door goes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut them, or mark them nine foot tall. Okay, so I'm I'm taking my speedy square or speed square and uh, this is a the way you use this you have a pivot point here and you move this to uh, hit your 312 so here's your common rafter so I'm gonna line this up on three so I'd give me a my, my pitch that we talked about and everybody ought to have one of these no matter what you don't have to get this brand I just got this one because it's red and it's easy for me to see when I throw it in the grass.
You can also use a framing square, but I, I'll show you that maybe a different uh, thing. I can get into the weeds there and I'll be here talking about that for an hour. So what you do, you find your nine foot, there's my nine foot. This is your pivot point, so you rotate this around until you find it, until the three lines up with this. So that's a 312 pitch. And so if he's cutting, if he's cutting rafters or whatever, he could do it with this, so. And it's just the way it works out here. So I'm gonna cut these and uh, we'll lay the plates out. Okay, I'm gonna lay out the top and bottom studs and uh, I've only got four right now because I don't know exactly how I'm gonna lay it all out, but I'm gonna build the wall and the door opening. Of course, I'll have one on each end. And my door is uh, 36 and a quarter. So I'm gonna go half of this, which is four foot. And I need about 37 and a quarter. So half of that would be 18 and a half. Eight, 18 and 5 eighths. And of course, I'm going to put a jack there, so I need to move over an inch and a half. I'm going to All right, I'm gonna carry this over there to the uh, platform and we'll get built on our first wall. Once you get it uh, laid out, it's easy. You just pin on the line and nail it. We went ahead and nailed that in on the saw horses. Okay, so we're gonna stand it up now. And I need to get my level and get started here. Of course, this is the doorway, so you don't want to put nails in there. All right, we're going to brace it. Hey, 
could put a diagonal brace on it too, just temporary. Okay, so here's the door. We'll frame it out next uh, time we're out here. It's not the end of the video, it's just the end of the day. So it's gonna look pretty good. All right, we'll see you in the next, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, so we're gonna start framing the back wall and I've got my two top bob plate. Of course, I need to start out with one on each corner. And I have a window that I had left over, like I said before, that was going to, we replaced the windows in our house and I had one left over, so it's four foot wide, so, or a four foot rough opening. So I'm gonna go to the center, which is four foot, and go two foot each way. So I need to start with cutting four studs. So we'll get those cut and uh, we'll come back and shoot when we raise the wall. Go ahead and frame the window in, and uh, I might set the window in there at least temporary till we get ready to paint. So we'll go ahead and uh, kind of lay that out.
I'm thinking on the height of this window is I'm putting work benches all around. I mean, not work benches, but benches for my plants to grow on. And uh, everywhere I read is I've got an exhaust fan we'll put up here. So you want the window down as low as you can get it and your exhaust fan high. That way it'll suck the cool air up, allegedly. So that's why I set that window that high. All right, I got a couple more things put in here and then we'll set the window. Now these angles I had left over when I cut the tops off of them, so it's not wasted. You also notice that I'm angling my, uh, when I'm going side by side like that, like a two before into a two before like that, I angle my nail gun so the nail won't go through. Cause really this is, I really shouldn't even be using a hammer. Cause this is all finished. Cause we're going to paint all this. It's kind of like a, you know, if you was building a house, you'd put walls on the inside and everything wouldn't matter. But you know, now we, uh, this all be painted. So. I got that piece in and that window's complete and that's kind of a textbook uh, framing, I think. So anyway, uh, you might think this is, why didn't I put a header up there or whatever, but this, actually this is not a load bearing wall. The front's not a load bearing. The load bearing's gonna be on the sides and you'll see that as we progress. It's kind of a different way. You know, like uh, you could just build like walls all the way around this, you know, and then you're Load bearing would also be on that side, or you could do it this way. You know, it just depends which way your roof's going. All my weight's gonna be on the side, so that's why I did that, like that. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and level that, or plumb it, I mean. We're gonna plumb it this way and this way. And then we're gonna put the rafters, two of the rafters on, to kind of tie it all together. And uh, you'll see all that, how, what I'm talking about then. So anyway, before we get started, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we appreciate y'all subscribe. I got a lot, of new, a lot of new subscribers. We post videos three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can follow us on our journey. We're a small farm in Southeast Tennessee. Uh, we've got starting a goat dairy. Uh, we got pasture raised eggs, pasture raised chickens. Uh, we've got a few sheep. Uh, what else we got? Oh, <laughs> our big thing is the vegetable garden. I forgot about that. We sell at the farmer's market during the season. So we'll be starting that pretty soon. That's why I want to get this done because we got seeds to get started. But anyway, I know you hear that on every channel that you see, hit that subscribe button, but it really helps people, especially channels like mine that are small. Once we get up to a thousand, you know, that helps us out quite a bit. And I'm about 376 this morning. So uh, I need you to subscribe. So about 70% of our audience don't subscribe, but I would appreciate it. You're going to help me out if you do subscribe. So anyway, we're going to plumb this up and uh, then we'll get started on the roof. That's good there. All right. Okay, so we're going to get the two raptor ends on and Hopefully it ties all this together. Let's see, come my way. What you got hanging out there? I ain't got quite a bit. You can come more if you need to. Right there.
All right, we're gonna get the other side. Rough on them old knees right there going up and down that ladder. <laughs> You can see now it's starting to take shape. Uh, we'll run our actual rafters will run this way. That's why I say these will be this will be your load bearing on the two sides here. So we're gonna stick that window in and uh, see how it works. Uh, I'm just gonna screw it in a couple of the corners. Then when we get ready to paint, I won't pop it out and paint. installation ain't much to it especially in a situation like this so we'll put the uh now we're gonna have siding up to we haven't decided how high we're gonna put it yet but like a some kind of siding we're gonna put up so far and then we're gonna put the clear stuff so uh, we'll work on that all right we're gonna end the video here uh in the next uh episode we'll frame in the door probably set the door start framing these sidewalls in. We gotta do a little thinking on it. I'm gonna try to use some old uh, windows I got up here, so it's not gonna be exactly conventional. And uh, we'll probably have to kinda think about it as we go. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. Uh, hope you got some idea what we're doing here. Uh, hit that subscribe button, we appreciate it. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Remember to support your local farmer, and uh, we'll see you down on the farm in the next video.